here to uh, talk about the new product from Isolin Systems. And this is the one, and we call POL Isolin Extenders. And POL stands for Power Overlink, which means the power and the data can be carried through the your existing cables like phone wire or the commercial cables. Uh, Here is a set of POL Isolin Extenders. So uh, there will be a one we call POL transmitters and another one we call POL receivers. The powers and the data will be delivered through the extended port to the other side. So let's check what this looks like. So for transmitter side devices, you will see there for three power input with the terminal block and the DC jack. And from the front panel, you will see the power LED for one, two, three and one is POL indicators. When the POL indicators light up means the power has been delivered through the extended port. Here is the extended port. You can choose uh, which, which is RJ11 or the terminal box. Use one pair of wires. And then here is the bandwidth indicators. When you connect it, this will show you how many bandwidths you can have for your data. And there is a deep switch here. There are more uh, functions you can config from here. So this one is transmitter, and this one is receiver. For the PLL receiver, uh, you'll see from the top, it also have power one, two, three. But you might have questions why the receiver still need power input. The design is for the power redundancy. If you have a local power supply uh, put here, then you can have a power source from here and also power from the transmitter side through the uh, extender interface. So you will see here also the power indicators 1, 2, 3, and another is POE LED. For the POE LED, is once the PO is ready and this port is connected, uh, the LED will be lighter. And this also they have the bandwidth indicators. And here the important thing is here we will show you how much powers you can deliver to your cameras. For 5 watt, 10, 15 watt or 30 watts. And the, uh, here is the same as the transmitters. They also have deep switches for more different configurations. Now that put devices on the rack. And here we will do a simple installation and check the indicators to see how the system works. So for this size we will have a power supply connected to POL transceiver. On the other side is the POL receiver. First, that put the phone wire into the Eastern extender ports. The cable is 200 meters for demonstration and it should deliver a bandwidth of 100 megabit per second. And now let's connect the LAN cable to this one and PLE camera to this one. The last thing is to put down the power. The power is now connected to extend the transceiver side. And now you can see the power is associated with the power tool. And the POL LED is also light up, which means the power is already being carried by the phone wire. And now you can see the link LED is on, and so is the other side. And you will see the link LED start to blink faster and faster. It usually takes 30 to 40 seconds to go through negotiation until the link LEDs become steady. Now you can see the bandwidth indicator is showing the Ethernet speed now is 100 megabit per second. 
Let's go to the other side and check the other LED indicators. The panel display is similar to the transceiver. The difference is that we see here the PoE is light up. For the devices it connected to IP camera. And we can see how much power you can have to deliver to your PoE devices. Here we can see the maximum power is 30 watts. Now that checks IP camera's power. It's already powered without any external power cable. And now we can see the video fit on the light up screen. Here was the demonstration. Within one minute, you can connect a PoE IP camera over 200 meters and you get the video fit. You may use these solutions to connect to your PoE devices up to 1.2 kilometers away. You just see the demonstration of the FormWire POL is an extenders that we call ED3538. And we also have the other models, the 3638, is through the coaxial cables. And the power data, the maximum distance can up to 1.8 kilometers.